one of the reasons why people in black majority countries like Jamaica and other former colonies are kind of unable to see that um, the media is not a public service for them is because a lot of the people that we see when we interface with media are people who look like us, right? We see the reporters and we see, um, you know, the news anchors and these people, um, you know, the cameramen, all these people are people who look like us. And so we don't make the connection that these are people working within systems of oppression. The Gleaner has been around since, I think, 1834, from the D. Cordovas to, um, you know, Seely to Clark and all these people. Who are these people? And the radio rediffusion or whatever it is that formed RGR. I mean, do you know who were these people? You know, we know who owns the Jamaica Observer. All the media in Jamaica is owned by members of the same business class. You know, they serve on the same boards. <laughs> you know, they are partners in different conglomerates. You know, they are the advertisers. It's the same people. Do you honestly believe in your heart of hearts that these people are operating their media business in your interest? And they do present themselves to be fair and balanced because they carry a bit more, well, compared to US media, they carry a bit more local content, like, you know, things that you can relate to, you know, human interest stories about people who look like you, about people who are going through the same thing that you go through. So you think that for the most part, yeah, they are fair and balanced. But uh, what? Who, who, who is on the front pages? You know, whose voices are on page one? You know, whose voices are being uplifted? Whose voices are being amplified in all these different media? Is it really yours? I mean, unless you're blocking a road, is it is it really yours? You know, unless there's a strike, unless their pockets are being impacted. Is it really your voice that's being amplified? You know, and I, I don't think we ask these questions enough. <laughs>